Some also want to do something, and for them, it's buying a gun. In fact, on Black Friday alone, the federal government ran 185,000 gun checks from applicants wanting to purchase a firearm. Our Brandon Scott checks on the situation right here in the metro. With federal investigators officially confirming the California shooter's ties to terrorism, Richard Newell decided now is the time to apply for a permit to purchase a handgun. We are at war with Muslim Islamic terrorists, and uh, I want protection. Ever since this week's attack in San Bernardino and last month's massacre in Paris, the lines for handgun purchase permits at the Douglas County Sheriff's Office have grown. Newell is applying not just for a purchase permit, but for a concealed carry license. He believes arming himself is the only way to avoid becoming a target of terror. These people want to kill us and we have every right to protect ourselves. Before issuing a permit to legally purchase a handgun, the Douglas County Sheriff's Office has 48 hours to screen each applicant. Each screening includes a criminal background check. We did over 500 gun permits in November. That was about 50% uh, more than we did the prior November, so we'd seen a marked increase in the month of November alone. Chief Deputy Tom Wheeler expects the Sheriff's Office to issue even more permits in December. So far this month, at least 30 people per day have filled out applications. We don't ask folks why they're in to get a, a permit. That's their constitutional right. Uh, I, I suspect it has to do with the events in Paris, the events in San Bernardino. Uh, there, I know there's some concern about potential gun control. That's exactly Exactly why Ron Lichtenberg is here. He wants to purchase a handgun for himself and another for his wife. The idea that I can defend myself, uh, I'm getting older, I can't fist to cuff it anymore, and, uh, and I think the, uh, the weapon, the handgun, the pistol, whatever you want to call it, uh, will give me that little bit of extra defense. Now I checked with the Douglas County Sheriff just before our newscast and take a look at this. By the time they closed the Sheriff's Office today, they issued more than 100 permits. I also checked with Sarpy County and take a look at this. They are seeing a similar increase in demand, issuing 80 permits so far this month. Now this permit process is strictly for handguns. There is a separate process for rifles and shotguns. I'll explain that when I come back at 630. Lena.